All right, hello and welcome. Today is Friday. Nice end to the week with our final stream. Uh, it seems more of you are awake today than yesterday. Uh, I'm glad. Uh, hopefully that test didn't kill all of you. <laughs> uh, so now that we are done mourning our loss from our test on Wednesday, uh, it should be good to go. Uh, we ended yesterday talking about how you should uh, put together your your notes so you should have so you can have them um, all organized and ready to go we want to be efficient uh, with our timing remember it's 25 minutes for the first question and then 15 minutes for the second question on the AP test so uh, make sure your notes are all organized like I told you to get them yesterday um, we have only a couple of things to talk about today, so it'll be a short stream. Uh, short stream. Short stream. Um, I have a new challenge, a challenge, a challenge. Y'all ready for a new challenge? This is part of our video challenge series. So challenge one. Ooh. Challenge numero uno. Uh, it was actually a, a video I saw on Reddit, and I thought, hey my students can do that <laughs> so so the goal actually let's watch the video first it's a really cute video i mean everyone is um uh, i'm a lurker on reddit <laughs> is it a classic physics problem oh man check it out um it was a video it was really cute so um i mean everyone is uh you know quarantined and this is what people are doing so here we go let's take a look at this video it's a TikTok video I guess it's like this kid and his grandma is uh, they're, they're playing this game where uh, uh, where they figured out how to how to uh, kind of redirect the bounce of this ping pong ball um, you know uh, changing the angle of the little pot here and uh, and so this is this is your challenge to recreate something like this um, of course, we need to spice it up to get some analysis going on top of just making a video. But uh, but if you have ping pong balls, obviously you can do ping pong balls. But you don't have to use ping pong balls. Uh, any kind of you know ball or tennis ball could do. You can even create a system. And I'll let you think outside the box here. You can create a system in, uh, and use other things. Like recall that we uh, we used towels. And if you have, you know, people in your family, you can you can get them to help you out. So if you have towels, you can bounce stuff from towel to towel, uh, etc. Let's see that last one again. Here we go. The grandma gets it, I think. Oh, who was it? Or is it the kid that gets it? Oh yeah, it's grandma. Grandma gets it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so. So again, you don't have to do it exactly like they did, uh, but the concept should be the same. The idea is that you're trying to bounce it multiple times and then get it to an end goal. So your end goal could be some sort of cup or something, right? Um, so what are we doing? So bounce multiple times. And and uh, I can, I can um, spice it up and say that, f you know, you can get extra credit for the, uh, the more intricate your setup is. So the more bounces you do, the more extra credit you get. Okay, uh, bounces are worth extra credit. The bare minimum, or, you know, the bare minimum is just bouncing off one and going into a cup. So that's the bare minimum. So anything beyond one is going to be worth extra credit. beyond the first bounce. Uh, here, I'll just, I'll just keep it on repeat, I guess. Uh, oh, I closed it. Dang it, I closed it. Uh, let me pull it up again. Uh, oh no, where is it? Oh, here it is. What? Oh, my computer's bugging out. There we go. Right, I'll just put it on. So, um, 
So after the first bounce, you know, every can uh, every other bounce will count as extra credit. Uh, yeah, you have to make the shot. You have to make the shot. Uh, hey, Jason actually showed up. <laughs> You know what Jason told me? I'll put him on full blast. <laughs> he doesn't like showing up because people like uh, certain people. It's just it's not uh, it's not throw everyone on the bus. I'm sure you can figure out certain people are too noisy and uh, too distracting during stream that it's better for him to not be uh, during the live stream and uh, and just catch up later. So he is sacrificing his chance to participate because of certain people that are way too distracting. <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> uh. So, <laughs> at, so, he actually writes. Um, so anyway, um, so the goal is, it, it doesn't have to be a ping pong ball, it could be anything. And you can you can be creative with the system. It doesn't have to be pots and pans. You can have you know if you have like brothers and sisters or parents or you know if you if y'all just quarantined anyway, you might as well get together. Uh, do do it with um the uh, do it with towels like we did the the balloon game. What's the max number of uh max number max number of no the, um well remember it, it it has to go into the cup at the end. So if you <laughs> If you can do a no, uh, I should have a max because I don't want you to. I don't want you to break my system and then just get an A in the entire class based on this one activity. Uh, max. Ten bounces. Ten. Oh, let's let's make it. Let's make the extra credit at least test points. So ten extra bounces. So that means eleven total bounces max 10 test points so this would uh, recover some of our some of our points if it's really a, a, a yeah well maybe a on the assignment uh yeah so <laughs> see these these youngsters have it so easy that they just wake up late and then uh, watch the VOD on YouTube and stuff. Man, you know, back in our days, we used to walk uphill both ways in the snow. <laughs> All right, so so test points. We'll get some test points going. Delete the VODs. Yeah, that'll force them. <laughs> yeah. now, now you have to do some analysis. So video analysis. Let's go Logger Pro. Uh, logger pro uh, vid analysis. So you might need uh, you know different different angled shots. So if you can get people to help you, that's great. Or you might need to have you might have to do this multiple times. So uh, the first time you want to get it from the front. So that's for the you know that's for the glory shot, which shows us all of the bounces, etc. Now the actual analysis part, you need shots of Um, you need shots where the parabola is in frame. Uh, of course, you'll need to use some other object in frame for size. I'm guessing you don't have a you don't have a meter stick, but you don't have to have a meter stick as long as you have something that you know the uh, the length of. Uh, then you can use that as the pixel to meters ratio on Logger Pro. Uh, perhaps you know. Uh, I don't know, maybe like a remote control or or a textbook or something, anything. Logger Pro video analysis. So w what I want is the initial initial for the initial bounce. Initial bounce. Um, we we want some analysis here, where find vi. So VI going down, uh, find VF, VF, uh, find KE lost, KE lost, 
there we go. Uh, v I V F K E lost. Ah, oh, how do you get the mass? Well, can, uh, for help, yeah, you, you can use your mom for help, yeah. Uh, so get a anyone in your family involved, that's fine. Uh, I will allow it. Uh, K E lost. Now, for mass, you're going to have to approximate the mass. Um, you can you can use water as an approximation. You can you can, you know, if it's an actual ball like a ball, then yeah, you can definitely Google the mass of the ball. But if it's an object, then you might have to do some more, uh, you know, creative things. Uh, perhaps create a balance, right? Balance is just a teeter totter. So use torque to your advantage, uh, and and you know find the equilibrium point, etc., uh, of a known mass and your questionable unknown mass. Right, so uh, so you would have to write all of this stuff, how you did all this um, as part of your report. Uh, Logger Pro video analysis, uh, find VI, VF, KE lost, right? Um, find, the, find the height, the max height after the first bounce. Max H after bounce. And compare peg, compare peg to to the uh, to the ke final, ke final being uh, over here, ke final after the after the first bounce. So this would be ke initial. <laughs> the only thing I know the mass of is pennies. Uh. PTSD pennies. <laughs> uh, compare peg to KE. All right, uh, and then and then uh, also for the final bounce, you have to do some analysis for the final bounce. So same thing for the final bounce um, as it goes into your cup. It's marble in a cup, but far more complex. Uh, same things. Uh, other stuff. Um, angle. Um, find the incident angle. Oh no, we're talking about laser and optics now. My hands. If you're taking AP Physics 2, consider learning about Snell's Law and Law of Reflection. Um, here is theta i, the incident angle. Yikes, indeed. Yikes, version two. Uh, <laughs> do you even know when the test is for AP2? Wait, what? N sine N equals N, no, N. N1 sine theta 1 equals N, N2 sine theta 2. I mean, if you're trying to find the critical angle, then yeah, you can set your final angle theta 2 to be 90 degrees n times critical a sign of critical angle equals n2 times sine of 90 he's too busy studying Lord of... all right anyway um, so you do the same stuff for the final bounce okay and but in addition to this for the final bounce we want the final angle theta final for ball so as it's going in to the cup at what angle is it going in so this angle here which is also the actual angle below the x-axis Yeah, Logger Pro. 
frame by frame video analysis. So you'll have to freeze frame one, draw some triangles, similar to how you would have done it if you did the, um, the Knott's Berry Farm activity. Ah, yes, uh, Gen 1 students, if you're still here, we get to go to Knott's, except for these kids to this year. But uh, we get to go to Knott's to do labs on roller coasters. <laughs> That's also a big change. Uh, <laughs> well, didn't you guys go last year uh, when you were juniors? So you guys didn't miss out. It's just the seniors that took AP1 this year are the only ones that missed out. You guys are fine. Uh, oh yeah, we do the paper roller coaster. Yeah, I mean they've they've gotten really good. Uh, if you go to our website, uh, we have a video now. Watch our video um, on zphysics.net. Go to zphysics.net and watch the video. There's uh, but and that video is already old, right? Um, so but but still, it's still uh, new to you guys. Watch the video. Shout out to Jacob's Elevator. Oh, whoa. Jason with the second burn of the day. <laughs> uh, yeah, no kickball tournament this year. That is unfortunate. Um, I mean, our kickball tournament actually grew, right? I don't know if you guys remember we played kickball at the end. So we actually grew uh, the tournament where uh, we got uh, the drama kids to play last year. The drama did their own miniature, and then the top seed from the drama band uh, team, they got into our tournament, and then they played against the calculus students, and then the winners from the, the math and the drama and stuff eventually played the winner of science, and you know, it was pretty cool. And of course, you know how it is, uh, physics won. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, it was gonna be bigger this year oh man this uh all right let's not talk about this <laughs> uh we should talk about things that we can do not what we can't do because it's only going to make us sad if we can keep talking about all the stuff that got canceled right let's talk about all the cool stuff that we can do number one we can make all this cool tiktok video with the bouncy balls Number two, we can we can play some League of Legends, I guess. <laughs> a LOL tournament, yes. <laughs> there you go. We'll do a... Uh, oh, the, the chess championship also got canceled. The coolest part of the chess championship was supposed to be how, um, how like, the winner gets to 3D print their own uh, customized, personalized chess set. So th that could have been, like, the, the best prize of all, really. If you if you're into chess, <laughs> but uh, I mean, we can do like a league thing, and then maybe we'll do like a three D print a league trophy, and you can come and get it uh, next year. <laughs> All right, anyway, so here's our challenge. So do we understand what we're doing? Um, if you watch the video, uh, if you didn't watch the video, just rewind and go, go to the videos and go, go, go to the start. Um, so every, every bounce after the first one is worth extra credit test points, right? We have to do some video analysis, uh, some v uh, values for velocity. You have to figure out what the mass is. So either Google it or build a scale using you know teeter-totter and known masses. And then um, find the kinetic energy loss, compare it to peg mega, find the max height, incident angle, do the same thing for the final bounce. And, hope, and uh, in order to get the extra credit, it has to go in. It has to go in. But um, you know, if you're just looking for you know actual credit for the assignment, then, then yeah, just doing the bounces and the analysis is is the bare minimum, right? Okay. All right, so that's the assignment. I will put uh, all of those details on Canvas as I go. Uh, the other thing that you have to do uh, is uh, I've opened up my AP, so let's take a look at my AP. Uh, my AP. Uh, so go to the mechanics section of my AP. Uh, here's my AP. 
he uh, not electricity but mechanics classroom Alright, uh, so I've opened up both multiple choice and FRQ. Now the FRQ, you won't, uh, you won't be given the answers, so it won't auto-grade. Uh, but the MC is is open. I want you to do all the MCs for mechanics. There is a due date on that. Let's, check, let's take a look. Uh, click on MC. It is, oh, whoops. That's not what I want to do. Uh, where does it show? Okay, uh, we're not doing six and seven. It's only units one through five. Remember, units one through five on the AP is equal to units one through four for us. Right. Uh, why doesn't it show the due date? Oh, maybe I'll hit the, there we go. Assignment, there we go. Uh, no. Oh, there it is. View. You guys should, okay, your end might look slightly different. So you guys can go to your assignment section and, and do it. Uh, so you can see it is, what? Why isn't it due? Oh, the, my bad, my bad. I opened up, I opened up E and M. I think I have it all backwards. Maybe. Can someone verify if it's ENM? It is not ENM. Oh my god. All right, I will assign it. I will assign it now. Due August. No, it oh, it opened in August. It's going to be due next week. So. Uh, uh, I will have to fix it again. I thought I did it, but for some reason my, uh, my thing didn't save or something. Uh, do 422. It is open. Oh. Why does it look different on my end? I don't know. Is it MC? Yes. Let me see. All right, but anyway, I will, I I will fix it if it's not. Uh, Mystery wizard Alex says it, it is fixed. For some reason, my end does not look right. But uh, yeah, Wednesday, four twenty-two. Uh, oh my gosh. Uh, so, uh, E and M. And then I'll make mechanics the week after, I suppose. Uh, the 29th. Which is easy. All right. So units, CB units. We'll call them college board units. Uh, one through five. Remember, one through five equals APZ units. One through four. Everything is no, I don't know. I will check. I'll make sure. But anyway, these are the due dates. I won't change them. Uh, but I will a after I close the stream down. I will. I will fix it. So you got to go and do this. So your your notebook is nice and organized. Your, your notebook is nice and organized. You have the new video challenge to do. I haven't set a due date for the video challenge yet, so I think we're gonna need more time for this video challenge. Um, so let's set it for May the 1st be with us. And on May 1st, we will uh, we will watch all the videos. May 1st. All right. Thanks for tuning in. I will see you next time.